Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. It's been a while because I've been busy, which is really good, right? It's summer, but I've been thinking about what to share and I've been making a lot of things because when you have gigs and jobs, you are you know, constantly practicing and getting surprised by kids and requests. So I have my brain full of things that I wanna share with you, but it's gonna take a moment because after many days twisting balloons, I'm talking about that I start Friday and I still have to do my last event this Tuesday or balloon, you know, decor. And I was thinking, well, I don't want more time to go by and forget, you know, to thank all of you for commenting, for liking, for subscribing to this channel and especially to support this channel by collaborating on my Venmo and PayPal account that you can always donate money. But also there is something very surprisingly and beautiful. Look at this. This is something uh, a friend sent me, Tammy Faust. Thank you so much, Tammy. I'm going to open it because maybe you already know what it is um, just from the picture. But uh, this is something that there is a post. I was... Uh, a post on Facebook, you know, the, all the Facebook groups for balloon, balloon groups. And they were promoting this awesome flag. And I really want it, but it's like that moment I didn't have money because, you know, I don't have money on my PayPal. So if you can collaborate, thank you. Because also I want to save money to go to the Bling Bling Jam. But the, the way to pay for Bling Bling Jam for the registration is by PayPal. It's very important. And I think you can use... PayPal and other applications, but that's PayPal is the one I have. So I'm waiting to have money in my PayPal. So look at this. It's a beautiful big flag. And I can wait to put it decorating somewhere. And I'm so happy. So I want to dedicate this video to Tammy. Thank you so much, Tammy. I love it. It's beautiful. It can be as a background if you're doing a show, you know. So it can be for many places, also as a flag. So I can, I'm gonna think how to install it. I'm just afraid, you know, like outside, it's gonna start getting, you know, like old and old and then start, you know, I don't wanna lose this. I wanted to keep it forever. So look at this. So I'm gonna think where to decorate. Maybe I can decorate my room, you know, my balloon room. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So the design for today, it's something that I've been making lots of them because I don't know if you ever heard about the Indian paintbrush flower. I never heard about it, but now making it and studying the pictures, look at those pictures. It's like paintbrush. Of, co of course, the flower looks like a paintbrush. So that's kind of like the idea. And I had to make like a big uh, marquee or a centerpiece for, you know, a ceremony, a special thing. So I've been already making, you can see it's not done yet. But the idea is pretty much to show you how to make these type of flowers and how you can also create things that you never made before. And I kind of want to share that. Um, for example, I've been looking to see if there's other people that ever made, you know, paintbrush flowers out of balloons and not there's anybody. So I had to, you know, go to and use creativity as much as possible. So. One thing that I always share with you is go to Google and look for that, um, the design that it's already, you know, that, what is that? What is that? Indian paint brush. So I have to go and Google Indian paint brush and it appears that plant. It's like, you know, like a bunch of flowers and plants. So play with the colors. One thing is very important, play with the colors. So that's what if you see here, like blue and purple, it's because sometimes you can see those flowers with those colors too but i'm thinking i'm gonna make the flowers you know red with yellow because those are the most you know that you can see in the flowers um and then the rest is kind of like the base for a marquee uh how you make a marquee the base or a centerpiece there is this technique that is really cool that you i like to double each balloon so you put a balloon inside another balloon and so this base is stronger because this is going to be on the floor the way is you just make quads you know like right here i'm going to show you it's just this is the quads you see 
one, two, three, four. And then you can start creating like a column idea. But in order to have this effect, you know, that is, look, this effect, you just need to put it in between each of the big balloons, five inch rounds, quads, like four, in the middle, in between each of the big 11 inch round balloons. So this is balloon decor. That means you better use sizes and you will need a, what is your box to, you know, have each size for each balloon. So these balloons are inflated eight inches round and this one is four and a half inches round. So you can play different sizes. That's great. This is what I decide. Um, now, in order to make this stay longer, you can always use the non-lap bases, but because I'm going to leave this arrangement and never going to see it again, I'm going to use water balloons, okay? So the water balloons I'm going to put be each side and then maybe, I don't know, in the bottom. Now, this is just the beginning uh, of what I'm doing here. Uh, then on top, you know, how to install flowers. This is what I saw. I thought about quads of uh, quick links because then the quick links can connect one to each other and these can be also useful to connect other things that maybe more leaves. Um, another thing is if one of the quads of the golden, it's a quick link, so then we can help and connect these green quads on top. And then on top is an 11 inch inflated, quick link inflated eight inches um, big. So the idea is, look, you just pass it in between the four flowers and then grab it on top. And this is a wink link, so the link, you can pass it around, so secure everything. So you can make bunches of these paintbrush flowers to make it into a centerpiece. My intention right now is to share one, how to make one, because after you make one, the rest is going to be much easier. So this is the idea. And a lot of things, just by watching it, you can already think, oh, I know how to do this. Now, if you're going to make one, that's cool. It's going to be rare that someone asks for an Indian paint brush flower. It never happened to me. <laughs> but in case that happened, great. If it's not, then you know you can decorate. Because for balloon decor, it can be looking really good as a plant. You know, a bunch of these flowers all together as a big centerpiece. So let's do this. And I'm going to show you how I made it and how I decide to do this. So I'm thinking about also fast because I have to make this many, many times. This is a lot of repeating for balloon decor. So I inflate, this is a 160 um, Decomex. So it's kind of look like a 260. So whatever you have available that is yellow. So this is a yellow 160 Decomex. And I just measure like a hand twist. But one more important thing is look at this tip. When you tie it, try to leave a long tip, like two fingers without inflating, because that is going to serve you to make them the long apple twist for the 350 red. So now you just measure a hand, twist, cut. Now, because I know I'm going to make more, look what I already know. I leave a long tip and then I tie it. Okay, so then I can, I can wait. This is going to wait for the next flower, the next paintbrush flower. So the rest, pew, you tied it. Okay, so you have something like this. When you have something like this, you're just gonna grab a 350. And then this 350 is inflated, like leaving eight or nine finger tail, because with one of this 350, you're gonna be able to make two paintbrush flowers. You just have to make a long apple twist. So that means is you just connect it here like this and then push. You have to be pushing, 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 pushing. Like more than usual. So I squish, look that. I squish from the bottom here and grab all. That means the nozzle of the yellow 160. And it looks all like crazy, look. But you can accommodate it and push some air up. So then it's longer, but at the same time, you have something like this. Okay, then you're going to twist, 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 twist. And now, because I'm also thinking, I'm, I want to save time, you're going to grab your other balloon, the, the third balloon that is going to be a 260 green. Why a 260 green? Because it's thicker than a 160 green and it's going to be more stable. 
and that's also what I'm looking for balloon decor. So I'm gonna blow this like living like approximately three finger tail, okay, of tip there. And then here you always look. This is what I do. I grab it like this, loose the air, so I have more thing here to stretch and pass this around, okay? Pass this around a couple of times, and then you're gonna tie it. The idea is when you pass it around, you have to make sure the connection of that yellow nozzle and the red nozzle are here in this side, no in this side and here. Then you're gonna tie them. The green, you're tying the green, and you have all these to cut, okay? Cut, and then this piece you can lose air a little bit because I know I need it for an apple twist here too. So you have something like this. This is gonna be for the second flower. So that's why I'm saving right now because I have to make more. Because I have to make two marquees. So, and then put it in my car. <laughs> Take it like far away. Like I'm talking almost two hours driving. I was like, why I say yes? Because sometimes you, you don't think that much and, and you don't wanna say no to events, right? Or anything, you know, it's a, it's a job, you know? But um, what happened is on Monday today. I don't have any gig or party. I just didn't, I forgot to consider that I've been working the whole week from Friday all the way to here, like eight hours twisting balloons consecutive without not stopping. So it's kind of like tired. My hands are tired, but I, I say I'm gonna do this and so I'm gonna do it. And then tomorrow, finally I'm gonna rest and probably I'm not gonna touch balloons in the whole day because it's already, you know, a lot of hours making balloons. But I wanted to show something, so I was thinking, why not this if I already am making like lots of these flowers? So now you have this process. Look at this. Okay? Now from here you can start grabbing the green to 60 and measure like six finger long. Then and twist, 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 and then go up again for a six finger long twist, and then go another six finger long. And you can roll it. So that's in this last bubble, you roll it in between the two first green bubbles. Okay, so then you roll it more than one time because why not to secure this very well. Now this piece is okay, you can hide it, you can tie it with the 350 because it's already secured with the um, 260, but just in case I'm tying it and just leave it there. So you have something like this. Now, what else? Already like this it can be a flower, yeah. But in order to make this even better, I thought of a 160 balloon red. So you're gonna inflate it all the way and then lose some air so then it's soft and squishable. And then you're gonna tie it. So you're gonna make it like a very soft and squishable loop of a 160 red, split it in half. Do this and now you're gonna grab this center here between the green and the red pass this around so then it's locked there and now kind of like go up and you see there is a little tip here with the yellow so make sure that one is gonna be also to help you so look things doesn't have to be perfect one loop is smaller than the other one it's fine you want, if you want, you can pull out the other one, make the loop better, bigger, it's fine. Okay, so you have this, and then this yellow, I think, make sure it pass around so it's locking things. But the idea is now here, you can leave it like this. Good, it's gonna look like a paintbrush flower. Or you can also open the loop and make it like this in between. So it's still looking like a paintbrush flower. So this is pretty much the idea. Look how crazy uh, it looks. Now, this is just a flower. Now, the idea is how to make this, you know, looking better when you have a bunch of this. When you have a bunch and in between also some leaves. I just wanted to share with you this process because after this, you will see how is everything gonna be looking when I am there at the hotel. Um, you know, leaving all the decor exactly the way, you know, and I will try to make a video to show you all what I add, okay? So I just wanted to share this. Now, play with different tons of green. That will be a good idea. So look, 
Now, these balloons, at the end, when you have a pair, what I did is I tied it, so then these can be around the marquee, the, the base of the marquee, the flowers, the, the round balloons. So just, and then it can be all, when you have two of these already inflated, so two pairs, you just connect it from the base, and then the round balloon that is the quick link, this one, is gonna be right here, let me see, right there, and then this is gonna go up, 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 up and attach it right on top. I hope you can understand the idea what I was thinking. Uh, but that's going to help me, you know, thinking that it's going to be more stable things. I just wanted to share that so far. And I have to keep going, keep making balloons. It's all a mess. Then I'm going to add some gold. And so let's see. I will show you later. But I wanted just to share something with you. And I thought this could be a good idea. Um, that's it. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Don't forget, leave your comments. I know I've seen really nice comments. I, I see that you have suggestions but i don't take suggestions at the way that the request you know I, I don't take those requests because i don't have the time you know if i feel in the mood great you will be super lucky but if it's not you know don't feel bad it's just i'm just going with the flow like what is happening in my life for me in balloons and if a client is considering to you know like want a indian paintbrush centerpiece it's like okay i made it and then i will share it with you um, because one question that is, seems very interesting is about the quick links and all the options you can have with quick links. You can have lots of options, lots of ideas. If you use a bigger balloon, think about this, you will have more, more, um, options because you can underflate it and it's going to be easier to twist and do even balloon distortion. But also you can try and if you, if you only have one size that is the five inch round balloons, you can try to do some distortion with that. It's all about, you know, just making in a scale, you know, you do smaller sizes thing. Well, and the thing is that takes time to explain. So let's go with the flow. I already have a lot of videos talking about distortion. And the thing is you don't learn that thing that, you know, that character I'm making for that video. You're learning techniques and the idea of learning techniques is that then you can use it combining with your imagination your creativity to make new things i think that's kind of the process of this you know it's these things nobody ever made you know like paintbrush indian paintbrush flowers but using your creativity and all the techniques you can make it it's all about to find a moment to focus what i use is a good tool for me and i share it all the time with you is music so what i do is i play classic music the moment that I had to create things that are more repeatedly and I already have the idea then I can put a video movie a series anything a documentary about anything but the moment of creativity for me and that's what I've been doing every time before I make a video for you as a tutorial I always put classic music put a thing that I would like to make and then things ideas will come super fast that's what happens and I think it can work for anybody so tell me in the comments if it worked for you and if it's not classic music, what type of music do you prefer? Have a wonderful day and I will, you will see more things later. So stay tuned because this video, it's a long one, but it's a kind of like my uh, world with balloons, adventures with balloons. I have a playlist that I share also adventures with balloons. It's kind of like a blog, the idea of me as a balloon twister, entertaining at events from one, two, three, four, sometimes four events at the same day. And then the idea of uh, doing this, you know, deliveries and taking all this craziness, two of these big ones in a car, all the way two hours. So let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody, look what happened. So that happened for no explain. I'm here with my daughter, Isabel. She, you know, it will be a wonderful time to spend together driving for like two hours, I think. But I had a flat tire and not just that, and the tire exploded. So I'm in the middle of the road waiting for uh, help. So they say 20 more minutes and they will come and help me to change the tire. Cause I'm, you see, I'm a balloon twister. I had to take care of my finger. So it is coming. My husband is coming. So he's going to help me to change the tire and then go to the next town because I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's like, you see nothing. <laughs> but it's the lighting. Okay. It's nothing here. So what happens as um see bad luck i guess that's how it is 
good thing the event starts much later and I was already planning to go there earlier. So now let's wait, be patient. All the balloons are here. The AC is on. So I'm just here um, updating you. <laughs> so sometimes this happens. You better, you know, keep it the good mood, trying to, you know, uh, what is focus so then you can find solutions find more ideas if you let them start you know crying or thinking ah this is the end it's gonna be worse at the end nothing is a big deal not even this delivery that they already pay you know it's i can give back the money and say i'm so sorry because accidents happen so this just happened to me and i'm just waiting and see what will happen i will let you know so i have all this i'm doing my best you know i woke up super early today to make this i spent hours making this balloon decor I hope it works, so let's see. Just so you know, you have an idea. It's not a flat tire, it's explosive tire. Yeah, these things happen and I'm in the middle. But good thing I park safe. This and it's only one tire, I guess. We had to look for the good positive right side. Okay, I made it. I delivered it. I'm in a much smaller car but it fits so I'm glad and now I'm on my way back the question is after all this <laughs> I know this is an accident right it's an accident but I wonder if I will do this again I will that do this again that is accept to do a balloon decor delivery all the way to hours from where I live you know I can take so many risks that is one your flat tire your tire explode you know for I don't know even that you know what I was thinking at the beginning is okay I don't have any gig it's a Monday that will be fun driving music relax but the whole process it was you know like a bad experience so now I'm thinking I don't know if I'm really gonna wanna do this again <laughs> good thing I made it and the client was happy the balloons were okay so okay that's good but now I have to deal with my car and the tire and I know for gas it's already I'm expending, you know I'm expending money now there is not really like I'm losing I don't feel that I'm losing but also I don't feel that I'm making money so as a challenge because it's something I never made before I guess it's okay but um, I don't think I'm gonna do this again I think now I'm gonna think it twice to do a delivery to take something of one hour distance I think will be the limit and that's already a lot so from now on you see you learn from the good ways or the bad ways but you learn and that's a good thing I think the best thing about this day is that I'm alive that's good <laughs> me and my daughter we are fine we are safe so um yeah and it's an experience we'll never forget and you see I have someone that is able to take care of the situation because I was with the time I went there and already everybody was ready to decorate everything was decorated you know the, the tables they were waiting for me um, so I think I learned my lesson <laughs> and uh, yes so everything is gonna be okay and this is the best way to end my whole long week of twisting balloons every day consecutive for seven you know eight hours some days so I think I'm done I'm gonna rest my fingers and I will see you in a couple more days I need to take a break like a break <laughs> but yeah what an adventure I try to film more you know but them is also you know it's I have to deal with the time a little bit of a stress thinking all these balloons have to fit now in this a smaller car that I'm right now they fit I have to squish them good thing the balloons are still looking good they like it I don't know if they did it as a you know like because people here in Wyoming is so nice I don't know if they did it like with that intention but they make me feel good that they like it so that's that's the only thing I can you know like now you know I, I cannot think much about it <laughs> it's done 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 I had some pictures you will see it I couldn't even film after so many hours in the car I need I, you know at that moment it's like, okay here are the balloons now I need to use the bathroom <laughs> so that's it now I'm on my way back so yeah and 
the thing is I'm used the whole day and I was thinking it's gonna be just a couple hours but now it's the whole day I woke up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. to have this ready uh, and then it's already right now 3.41 and I'm gonna get home around 5.30 you know so yeah okay well uh, this is the uh, adventure time I'm alive <laughs> Because <laughs> the whole thing, you know, imagine you, you are driving like 80 miles per hour in these roads and the tire pump up, you lose balance and have to best thing is keep calm as much as possible and go to the side, to the shoulders of the road and call, you know, your emergency, your insurance and I did all that, but so that everything works great. Awesome. Okay. Ciao, ciao. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Um, leave in the comments. You know, if this happened to you, would you do it again? <laughs> like, would you take this risk again? I don't think I'll do it. I don't think, you know, no. no. I, I don't, you know, not that far. Not even if I don't have anything, any, any event. No, never again. Okay, okay. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.